Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the wonderful world we are creating in Manor Lords. We made some huge progress in the last episode. If you haven't seen it, the link and playlist is on the channel. Really appreciate you. Here we are. Plenty to do though. Let me show you where we're at. So we have 62 population now. They seem pretty happy. We've got 19 families at the moment. And the growth really did come out. We've got some spears coming in now to these guys. We need to obviously get some shields on the go, which we were working on. So we started that one. So over here, we've got the blacksmith. Let me just show you. They are the ones creating the spears. So if we go, General, why aren't you? Where's my people? Anyway, we have some. If we just go in here, we got the five spears. There we go. They've just disappeared. And we're working on getting the shields done now as well. So over here, we're just upgrade, upgrading that burgage plot to make sure we can accommodate that one. We've got raiders on the way in 131 days. So I think we'll be okay, though. I'm hoping anyway. We started the bloomery here, and we've got seven iron slabs in now. And we upgraded our large storehouse. Hopefully, we'll get those guys in. We're trying to ramp up our woodcutter's lodge at the moment. We've got plenty of people, but they're struggling a little bit. And I'm not sure why. Part of me thinks it's down to the logistics side of things. I don't know. So we'll be reducing the food down soon anyway so berries can come. And then we'll flip that up on the, uh, the wood side anyway. We've got plenty of timber. We've got all the stone from our thingy here. And we're going to need to make some wooden parts at some point as well. I'm not sure if they require the wooden parts. So I'll see once this is built. And then we can commit to this now. And we can exchange our walls now and get those kind of done properly. Because at the moment it was a mess. So we're tidying that one up to get the walls around properly. And that will be done before the raiders come. And uh, I think we'll be okay. The raiders are obviously really strong. They're not visible on our map right now. They were pottering about. I think there's going to be somewhere over here. I don't know. They seem to walk all the way around us at the moment. We'll leave them to it though. And then when they do come, hopefully we'll have a full... Well, I'm hoping we have a full spear militia retinue and this one filled and then we should be okay. They do have a lot though, so it'd be nice to get maybe another one in. Yeah, I think I'll do that and we'll have them split. That's absolutely fine and then we'll hopefully have enough. So it's going to cost us a fortune in these, but we'll get as many as we can ready for the fight. All right, our burgage plot has been upgraded. So this one is going to be our... Joiners workshops. We just need those planks. We've got plenty that are going into this bad boy at the moment, unfortunately. I could pause it, but we'll leave as is. All right, winter is on its way. So this is going into our second one here. I've reduced the forester down now. There's only 11 more berries they can grab, so that's fine. We are on six months of food. Uh, it's just fuel, so two months. So that's November, December. We should be okay. It doubles in the winter, but we should be able to keep it up. There we go. It's finally going up. It's taken a little while. But it's all down to making sure your storehouse is stocked and ready. Because then they can get the actual firewood over to these guys. I think that's the main problem. Listen to him. So fresh, it's practically still mooing. I love it. Little market stalls, man. He's got all the sorts of food there. Look, he's got meat hanging at the top. Bread. Cabbages. Berries. Look at that. So he's definitely getting some from the veg. Right, we had a bandit camp pop up again as well. I don't know whether to go attack it, actually. Then we'll have the mercenaries. It's over here. So should we go take a look? Oh, there we go. Claim with influence. You need a thousand. Claim with king's favor. So we have 890. So actually, we do have enough soon to grab another one. All right, that looks like quite a few. It's good. 20. A couple of shielded ones. They're a little bit stronger, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on those. But I hope you're well, guys. Thank you for joining me as well. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please smash the thumbs up and do subscribe. I'm going to keep saying it, but I'm getting really, really close to 10k subs. So if you could help me on my way, I would really, really appreciate it. All things City Builder and lots of medieval site type stuff. I'm a big fan of and space, to be honest. I love it all. But yeah, if that's the sort of thing you like, please do consider it. And I'm hoping... Right, we just need the planks. So we're almost out of the miners now and I'll be able to go into the joiners workshop. There's a new family here. Let's slow it down and let's see if we can now get in the rest of these berries just so we've got it. And meat, to be fair, is a rich one. We're soon going to have enough fields, though, to tend to and keep the farmers going. So with the extra coming in, I'm going to go ahead and grab in, I think, a communal oven. Now, where do we want the communal oven? I'm thinking over here in this little section. 
Although, do we keep it here and have that granary open? It would be pretty cool to have the bakery amongst us, though. Maybe over here. Yeah, let's go here. So we're going to have a communal oven in place this way. They're still building my new fence here and gate. So that should be done soon. For my beautiful manor house. 112 days until we're uh, we're gone here. And there we go. we got three planks. So we're looking like I will be able to get them in really, really soon. Come on. I'm going to wait until the next plank is done. And there we go. We've got a bunch of planks. So I'm going to put the joiner's workshop in. And we're going to get our first lot of shields on the go. Now I'm hoping... Well, let me check because we may well need to make wooden parts. That's tools. You don't need that yet. Tools aren't actually required in the game as far as I'm aware so far. Don't quote me on that. So I won't bother with that one. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to create it directly from there then. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to get that to the highest priority though. So I'll stop working over here and get on to work on that bit. Yep, there we go. So you can do small shields or large shields. We're going to focus on large shields is going to be our thing. That's really cheap. Wow. Okay, that's great. So I'm not sure what we need with the wooden parts. We'll get those in eventually. But I'm sure there's going to be some kind of production chain for that. A lot of it's going to come down to making sure we're replanting. So having that forester in helps massively. How's this looking? All right. I also need to change this up. So we've got two in there. Saw pit. Can I turn that off for now? I think so. So we're going to pause the saw pit and I'm going to get a second person in the large storehouse. And I'm hoping I can get this ramped up now. So we're in November. We've still got two months of fuel. That's fine. As long as we can get through to March, we're okay. And food, not a worry at all. I think the berries are now finished. So we'll pause that one. Hopefully they'll go out and grab that as well. And with these extras, now we can hunt through the time here. But again, food should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and assign the pit. I'm going to get one person in the mining pit, one family. And then we're going to make sure we're still grabbing in from the logging camp. So at the moment, 31. That's beautiful. I'm going to keep the saw pit going now that we've got the extra then. Yeah, that's good. We'll get one going in there. And then the forester's hut is still planting. So we'll keep that going. And the joiner shop has completed. I might even expand this living space because then that'll become two for the joiner shop. This should now mean that our armies will increase our spear militia. And I'm pretty sure we could go as far as getting most of these filled out before the raiders attack. Now, I'm pretty sure the raider had 100 odd. I'm going to expand that living space as well. And I'll put that down to high. And there we go. Let's take a look at this in all its glory. It's got a little opening now. That's awesome. So the manor house has completed. So obviously within the castle planner then we will be getting an outer tower. Um, and a garrison tower will increase the retinue size. But at the moment then, what do they need to increase? Let me just take a quick look. If we go into this one, what do they have? Is there a way of seeing or do you just wait? Because this one says the garrison tower increased maximum retinue size by 12, limiting to one per region. Would definitely like to get a tower though, either side of the gate. That would be pretty cool. Don't think we need to worry about it yet. We're going to have to fight these on the uh, on the map, I think. We have so many shoes in stock. This is incredible. I think we need to focus on getting these upgraded as well. Regional wealth is coming back in, but it's not amazing. So ideally then, we want to upgrade where we can. So this one, what does that require? Oh, you're level two anyway. Okay, I think we upgrade these two right here. So we get both of those burgage pots upgraded. This is what's costing us more fuel though, I think as well. But if we look, we have plenty of firewood. It's just not transferring out, which is, I'm sure it's down to this storehouse here. If we go people, transporting, peddling, peddling. Yeah, selling firewood. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there we go. And our flax is going to come in in the next year as well, which is going to be good. So I will assign those. Hopefully we'll get one new family. I think we're going to have a rotation here of wheat once more as well. And I think our bakery did finish. So worst case is we'll flip that on should it be needed and we'll be able to make some more bread. So how often do you play a city builder where you can just casually watch as the world goes by and just listen to the never-ending fantastic tunes? There was one game that was coming out called Viking City Builder. Now, they went completely dark and I think they it was either a scam or a cash grab, but it looked like it had similar building mechanics to what this does. So that would have been... Oh, that was one I was actually looking forward to and I'm not sure what they did with it and why it completely died off, but hey-ho, that would have been pretty cool as well. Either way, we're spoiled with this for the coming years anyway, with many updates, right? So we should be fine. And there you go. As you can see, with 
getting the extra person in the storehouse we're definitely seeing an increase in fuel and we just started to get more families in once again as well uh, these are family members joining so we've got a lot of children or just being part of the family so you only go up to so no population growth all burgage plots are occupied what's your problem fuel store we're working on it so it's time to expand our housing estate we can definitely accommodate Let's go ahead and do what we said. I think I want to hit this little section here. We may need a separate marketplace at some point. But it's looking quite big. And I think maybe actually we keep coming this way first. So we're going to utilize this space here. I do like that. I didn't want to offset. Yeah, that's better. I don't want that house to be too offset. Let's see what it looks like if we change it around. I think it's best that way. So we're going to go with that. Four more burgage plots in there. And then I'm going to start planning out some roads, actually. So I'm going to let it play still. And what I'm going to do is work on getting the roads set up to go into the next regions. And connecting up our roads to the main ones, like so. And we're going to work on getting a nice crossroad through all of these, ready when we expand, actually. So far, that looks good. Just checking out over here. How's our raw iron going? Iron ore is pretty low as well, so... Yeah, that's fine. So we'll start connecting this. Hopefully that will help with the traders eventually as well. We've got the main road coming here. I'm also going to connect this one up like that. I've got the right curvature that I'm going for on it as well. It's so good. So the main thing is, though, we're going to build up this section here with housing and over here. So I think I want to set an area to cut that down as well. But there they go. We're getting a nice little steady income of regional wealth here so we can start to do more as well. And that should help with our trading. Let's see where we're at. See, this is it. Our army is increasing now, which is perfect. So we just need these guys to go up. So we officially have 21 spearmen. Thank you guys for creating what you can. We just need to keep on top of the planks. So we may need to get another one in there when we get a new family. All right, deep in December, we got three months worth of fuel and five months worth of food. I'm still happy with that. We got enough berries, I think, to last us. Eggs are going really well. I'm wondering if we go into a sheep pasture at some point, ready when we get another farm in as well. So it provides pasture space for livestock. Now, I'm pretty sure this increases fertility. So I'm going to try my best to build one. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea... I guess you buy in and can order in some sheep and stuff and you put the pasture ones there and then they increase fertility and then you move it. I think. So the plan is, well, I'll go with that and see how it works, but that should be the way anyway. Then our next house is in, so we should see some more population growth ability come in. There we go. Uh, bandits just stole some carrots. That is a small little bandit. Oh, no, it's not small. I think it might be time to go march on these guys. So let's have a look what we have. So 22 plus our 5. It's a very strong little army. But 76 days, we'll have enough time for recovery. It just means that we won't have... Ah, do we take them all? Or do we take just the two? I think we gather them. I might keep those guys. We'll lose a bit of production. I'm taking a little look in here just to see what they have. So at the moment, they, there is another shield in there. So once the spears come in once more... Oh, yes. This is beautiful. We're getting some weaponry, and it makes me really, really happy. <laughs> it makes me really happy. I think I want to get into some kind of armor again at some point as well from one of these houses. So we're going to need to pick one to do that. And I think this might be the one, but we need to meet the requirements here. I might change that one over to... Can I do that, actually? I'm just going to pause it a second because I know our guys. This one. Production of male armor and plate mail. Oh, I just realized you can get bakery extensions on the houses, too. We don't want that, though. We want to save them all for this. A bowyer's workshop could be a good idea. We've got to be careful, though. We make too many artisans. We can't factor in all of our workload. All right, let's go check in. All right, they've come out. I'm going to back up. Now that they've come out, we should be able to hit them on this hill. All right, so I can do that. We should be recovered, so moving downhill, moving downhill. We should be able to press them. They should come all the way out. Let's get ready, and we'll fight them on this little hill here. I know how well you can do stuff because of... It's kind of similar to how it would be on Total War. Hopefully they can't get up this cliff edge here. There we go. They should come straight into these, and then I can send these around the back. 
into them. And they should be able to kill them in the back here. Boom. Get them. Get them, boys. Hopefully we're okay. The problem is we got the low ground on those. High ground on those. Cool. Should take these out pretty quick, though, pincering them. I'll be surprised if not, anyway. That doesn't make any sense if it doesn't. Yep, we killed one. Two. Should be nice and quick. Lovely, and we're getting new families in. And yeah, it should be a clean sweep here. And it is. Perfect. So, I'm going to send these guys back. And we'll get those disbanded. And then the other ones, we're going to use that to go clear the bandit camp. Perfect. New family in there. Let's see what we can do. So, food and fuel. Hmm. We may be able to accommodate some more hunting here as well. Let's see. How are you doing? Yeah, rich deposit's pretty good. Let's get another one in. And plenty of iron ore. This is just so good. Let's keep that going. We're getting that on. Plenty of shoes here. I don't know how you even slow down the shoes. It's just crazy how much we get. We've got no leather. Yep, tannery's still good. So let me go into our shoe producer here. Let's see if we can... That's Taylor. We're not doing anything on that one yet. Yeah, I don't see a way to pause that one. Pause this building. Temporary halts all construction and work-related tasks. So we've got so many shoes. I want to save up my pelts a little bit. That does just disable the cobbler shop, I think. All right, I have a new message. When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. This belongs to my treasury now. We're stealing that. 140. Please come home. I'm going to grab those guys and bring them back. And then you, we're going to disband. There we go. Ah, oh, retinue customization. Upgrade armor. Pay the full price to import the armor set for this retainer. No way. Okay. Recruit men at arms. Right, got you. Oh my god, they, they look super cool. Promote one of your citizens to your retinue. Locked in early access. Okay. Hopefully we'll get that at some point. Pay from your ret your treasury to hire a retainer already owns basic military equipment. Got ya. Do I have to pay upkeep for these guys? I'm going to change the colors here. Unfortunately, there is no black, but that's okay. I'm going to change their helmets here. I want the retinue to look pretty damn cool. I love that we can do this. Go on that one. I think I like that color scheme. That's what we're going to go with. What weapon? Oh, hammers. Yes. All right. Oh, look at all this. They're going to have expertise to level them up to. Oh, my God. I'm going to recruit a few. So I want them. You can have them all different, but I want them all in unison. So I'm hoping we can copy that. The red, 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 brown, brown. I'm going to allow different helmets and stuff, but I'm going to keep the color the same. So he doesn't have a block. That's fine. There we go. All the same color now. We're going to go with that. So we just spent some of our own treasury to get those guys. So at the moment, we have some really cool ones. I'm actually going to try these guys out. I want to see what they look like out in the, uh, the wild there. Yes, look at them. I love it. They look professional. Where's my man with the hammer? There he is. Very cool. I'm happy with that. So we're going to... That's how we do it. So if we go into those, we can do stuff with them. That's really, really cool. Um, I don't think we can do the same. It only retinue we can kind of paint. But that that's fair. They're my soldiers, right? They're my personal soldiers. 1.2k now on the influence too. I'm actually tempted to pop a bakery on one of these then, because we're going to start getting stuff in. Um, we'll need, obviously, the level two. Let's get these upgrading where we can. And then that one, once upgraded, I'm going to get a bakery in the backyard. I think that's going to be good. Free food, right? We're into January, though. January in our... So two years officially in March. Another family has moved in with new family members. These are all worthy of soldiers, so... We're looking good. Plenty of spears and stuff coming in as well. Let's keep a close eye on these shoes over here. But as, as quick as they make them, the, the quicker we can kind of get the stuff in. Requirements are not quite met on that one. I'm actually going to start to uh, prep a separate fallow field here as well. We're going to have a pretty big one. We're going to have a field size like that. And we're going to keep that one fallow for a while. And just leave that one kind of doing its thing. We have to pop one of these in soon to start working on the fields. Let's get that in now so they're ready. We've got one farmer group. Population of 78 now. We're almost at 100. All right, let's disband these. There we go. 19 days, though. I'm going to have to go in and recruit this to the max. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. None of them have shields, so hopefully we can give them a shield. Oh, some of them do. They come in with shields. And there we go. We only have 
59 in our treasury now. So we spent it all on those guys. I think that's worth it. So we have a pretty okay army for when the raiders come. I'm not sure how well they're going to hold up. I'll be honest with you. I don't know if we're going to be able to get some more in in time. I think we are. We've got enough population to fill them up a little bit. We just don't have quite enough to max them out. But that's okay. We'll have to deal with it. Right, I'm just looking at barley fertility as well. It's going to have to be up here. So I'm going to start a fallow barley field over here as well. I'm not even sure what size to go with. I'm going to leave that one fallow for sure. And we're going to work on maybe getting the, the pub upgraded for them as well. Now, food and fuel is getting a little bit lower, but I think we'll be okay to continue on and get a few more plots in. So where do we want them? I think I want to go over here now. That's what we'll do. I'm going to get three. We could go two big ones there with a good industry, or we go three like that. I'm going to go three like that around the church. So we're going to get three more in there. That's really going to take our town up a lot, isn't it? 84 now on the population. Birth, a good one. All right, 43 iron ore. I think all that construction can go slowly, and I'm going to get a second... Oh, we're going to need to go back into berries, actually. I'll keep one in the farmhouse. And as soon as this is replenished, which I think comes in in March, we should be good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get our bakery then. So, what do we need? Our oh, development branch bakery. No, definitely can't do that until tier three then. That's fine. All right, so we officially have eight days until the raiders are coming. So we're getting mighty close. I need to be careful because actually if we look, we don't have a lot at all. So we're going to need to concentrate and make sure we get all of those guys ready. As a slight concern, <laughs> I won't lie to you. I know that a lot of the marchers though, if we've got heavy shields, we should be okay. Six days. We've got the uh, we've got the shields. It's the spears that can't keep up. Hopefully, we get another family here. I've just seen a spear come in. There we go. We're getting the numbers in a little bit. Okay, here we go. So the enemy unit is out there. Oh, hold on. It might only be that A team. Was I panicking? Maybe I was panicking. We saw all those other ones before, but we stayed out of their way. Oh, if that's the case, we're fine. Unless oh no, more's coming. Okay, so thirty six. Please be no more. If that's it, I'm okay with that. We can deal with that. We've got a pretty good army. So, no problem at all. So, wait for those guys to come in. Prepare for attack. We should probably assemble our guys right now. I'll keep a close eye. See how long it takes them to come in. All right, here we go. Raiders coming in then. So, we'll be on home turf as well. So, we'll have a nice morale buff. So, we've got 10 shields in there. I might let them go up to a certain number and then flip them to the other one because I want to get in some actual normal infantry too. And there we go. The new family moves in. Right. Unpause this. Let's get one in there. I may even add the herb garden. Not sure what the herbs do yet. We might be able to sell them. Let's go ahead and rally our troops here. So we're going to want a hill of some kind. So they're going to be pushing down from that hill. Let's fight over here. Rally those guys as well. Make sure everyone is on one. We must fight. We are prepared. No problem. Come straight in the middle and we'll collapse in on you. Please. May have done it a little bit too too soon. I wonder if you can do the, the uh, move up. Should be pretty good. I'm going to take off run to positions. Try and get this fatigue gone. So they should have pretty good effectiveness. Fatigue on these are a little bit low. That should go down before they get attacked though. And let's speed it up. And everything in the background will hopefully improve as well. And we're going to continue. I think the trees stay in the gardens when you build over the top. That's nice. Pretty cool. And here we go. So it begins. Yes, let's go. We fight for honor. Collapse in on these. Oh, yes. Collapse in. It's not as sophisticated as obviously the likes of Total War or something. I give them the benefit of the doubt on early access 100% because that's cool. Can't even tell who's mine really. We've got our retinue over there though in red. Absolutely hammering through them. You raiders shall suffer. Their numbers should be dwindling already. Yep, fatigue is bad right here on these guys. Corpse near army power. 
cool that if you hover over them, you can see the uh, power of each as well. Could make quick work of these guys. I am going to speed it up. Hopefully we don't lose any. So far, so good. Yes. Right, one fleeing. Let's take on the next one. Well done, my army. Yes. We didn't lose a single soldier. Woo-hoo. Nice. Can we get anything off them? That's a shame. We've routed them off the field, though. A great first raid. Really, really well done, guys. So, I think all these dead bodies, though... You guys okay? The retainer squad? I don't know whether we're going to need a, a grave pit here. So I think the corpse pit would have liked to have on the back of the thingy here. But actually, is it pretty ugly? Just out the way over here for now. We'll get that one in. Very, very well defended though. I am very proud of myself. And I'm going to get a second lot in the farm plots now. So we're going to go with Fallow there. Fallow up there. This is going to be a wheat one, and then a two-year of fallow. This one should be flaxing. There they go. Off to the field. Work area is empty. No, it's not. Quit your lying, man. There's plenty of berries there. So I'm going to go back down to one in the hunting camp because it's getting pretty scarce on the wild animals, so one should be able to farm that quite well. How are we doing for materials? All in all, looking okay. Firewood's still good, so we're going to try and build some stuff. It's looking pretty epic now. And let's have a look at our corpse pit now it's finished. So I'm guessing they're just going to dump bodies in here. We may need to get one person on there to get rid of those. Because I'm pretty sure you get bad morale based on the dead bodies, which are right here. I would love to steal their weaponry and shields, though. Bodies need burial. I know I'm doing it. I'm trying. Village require, villagers require to be buried on hallowed ground of the church while raiders may be dumped in the corpse pit. Make sure you have a family assigned to handle it. Yep, I'm on it. As we expand as well, I'm going to make sure we're getting in our wells as we move out. So I'm going to prep this area ready for a well also so we can factor in for when these houses come in. So I'm going to build some houses along here as well. and Maybe in here. It's going to look really, really cool. Let's get that going now. I think we've got room for some still, but I think I want to just fill in this little section here. I think if I do that full one, we should be able to get three in there, but then we'll rotate. Oh, that's even better. Although that one doesn't get business, so not good. There they go. Straight to the corpse disposal over here. Working on that one. wonder how much you get in. Storage to a dead body. Transitionary resource. I'd love to get their... Uh, they're bones, you know. Make bone weaponry. All right, it's time. The time is coming to grab in a second spot. But before I do that, I'm going to get the... Do we want brewer extension? Not yet. We're going to need the bakery, don't we? But we can't do that. Yeah, we're just chilling on those for them. Might be worth grabbing the bowyer's workshop then. We can always pause it, right? Why not? All right, lots of family members joining. We're on 89 population. Now, look how gorgeous it is coming. Oh, can't wait to see the tier 3 housing, though. It's going to be really, really cool. All right, we're officially up to 101 on the regional wealth again now, which is great. We can set up potential new trade routes here. Look at this. We have 20 shields. Oh, wow. A nice, nice, juicy, juicy army here. So, that we've got enough shields to cover these now. What I'm going to go ahead and do is change this one over, and we're going to go into the small shields. Not sure what the wooden parts do yet. And it's cheaper on planks too. So we're going to move into some of that. And we'll start to get a bit of a surplus on those. And then once we have all of the spears in, we're probably going to flip to sidearms, which is only iron. Which I think we have a good amount of. Yeah, 36 iron slabs. Only a little bit of iron ore. We're still producing that. But we could probably reduce the iron slabs at some point as well. It's good if you press tab as well. You can see what ones are level one still. So like this one, for example, I can get that one leveled up. These ones with families in can also be leveled up. So a lot of it is waiting on what our crop field is going to be. So we want this to be the one that's going to be our barley at some point. But yeah, we're going to leave that fallow as we can. This one has been sown. So this has started to grow. Perfect. So the bakeries are going to be producing pretty well soon. This one's never happy because we're never having enough fuel in. Oh, hello. A new bandit camp. How close are you? I am gladly going to fight you. They keep coming up over here. Learn some more wealth. I might get regional wealth on this one. 
I'm fairly certain I can send one lot out here. They look a little bit stronger, though. Mostly shielded. I wonder if my retinue could handle that. We won't deal with that just yet. We'll, we'll go with that soon, though. Just looking at where our, our, our other guy, then, has taken over this settlement as well. We're going to have to go to war with him at some point. So I can officially... I could do this. You have no rightful claim to sell bits. And Hof, Hof Setten, I can cause war, but we're not going to do that. Look, get rid of that paragraph. Ah, uh, you put the value in there. Okay, you can grab that. Declaration, war surprise. Definitely not going to do that. So I'm guessing we could have friendly relations if we wanted to, but the plan is to take over. I am a warmonger after all. All right, let's truthfully see then how much it costs for the tax office here. Okay, so tax office is okay. So road access, we're going to need... Why does it snap to that? And then we're going to need a road from there into there so we'll get our little tax office in there let's commit that it's only logs anyway so we'll get that one going not sure if we can even do that yet it does say not ready in this version of the game but we'll see i think it's time so this year we're going to gain more vegetables from those anyway because they've started growing let's have a look we get loads of leather and hide so we're good there we've got a bit of grain in let's look at getting a house or two with a bit more food in then so i'm thinking some more eggs might be a good idea so is there people living in here? There is. So let's get a chicken coop on this one. That one is Fletcher. So we're going to start building on those really, really soon. And then we should hopefully be able to get a little archer army. So I'm going to start the process of getting those guys in. We have started getting the small shields in too, which is cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just so good. Perfect. Plenty to go on then, and we're looking solid, I think. Guys, that is going to be where I end this one out. Please do smash the thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, do consider subscribing as well. As always, I do hope you have a great day, and I hope you're enjoying this series. I really, really appreciate you being here. Take it easy. Have a great day.